have to worry about any Hurricane Lee problems today. At That's least. right, or tomorrow. The fact that they're staging it here is an indication that we're not going to get that hit very okay, hard, right? Yeah. They want to be outside yeah. of the zone and then ship it into the zone that gets affected. So we should be all set, Dan? We're not going to receive much of it at all? I mean, we're going to have winds to maybe 20, 30 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. It'll just be a little cooler than what we've been It'll having be a lately. a little bit cooler, that's right. And even the Boston area, if you get away from the ocean, mm -hmm. um, we're not expecting much. Now, right along the shoreline in the Boston area, you know, like Gloucester down towards mm -hmm. Quincy, I mean, you got to watch out for the strong gusty winds in particular. And then the Cape, of course, will have uh, um, moderate impacts on the Cape. Mm -hmm. Uh, if over the last 24 to 48 hours, the storm actually looking a little bit further and further east, which is great news for us and for southern New England. Don't, don't get me wrong, places like Chatham and Provincetown still going to get winds that could gust between 50, 60 miles per hour. And it's down east Maine and Nova Scotia that will likely take a direct hit as the storm becomes a tropical storm at that. The storm's weakening. Remember it was a Category 5 when it was out in the Atlantic? You know, that's fine when it's out in the Atlantic. And by the now it's down to a Category 1 with top winds of 85 miles per hour. Temperature right now in Springfield, we're at 53 degrees. Dew points are in the middle 40s. And your 24 showing clouds, but notice the little suns as well. So some dim sunshine through the first half of the day. Then we'll go overcast, clouds tonight. But one thing you don't see here is green or much of any green at all. And of course, that would indicate rainfall. And we might get a morning sprinkle or a spot shower around sunrise tomorrow. Then really, that is about it. Top winds now of Hurricane Lee, 85 miles per hour. It is starting to accelerate, moving off to the north. It's going to pass way to the east of the Cape. But as these storms weaken, they also widen and become bigger in size. So it's still throwing plenty of cloud cover our way. Uh, this is uh, this afternoon at 5 o'clock, for example. Uh, clouds, some dim sunshine. The wind out of the north at about uh, 18, 20 miles per hour. Right As we go into the overnight tonight, more of the same. Cloudy skies, not much rain. It's starting to rain out on the Cape. This is around midnight tonight. Watch the rain try to back in on southern New England. It will for a little while. I think tomorrow morning we might get a sprinkle here, but the bulk of the, or spot shower, the bulk of the rain stays off to the east. Uh, the Boston area will pick up some showers tomorrow morning, but by about mid-morning into the early afternoon, already the system is pushing off to the north. That's when we could have some wind gusts here tomorrow, 25, maybe 35 miles per hour. While out on the Cape, winds will be gusting up over 45 to maybe as strong as 55 miles per hour. This is tomorrow afternoon. The system moving out. That means clouds give way to some sunshine here. Any showers in eastern mass are pushing offshore. And this storm system heading towards Maine and Nova Scotia at that point. So it really is just a brush by for uh, it's certainly central in western parts of New England. Rain totals less than a tenth of an inch. Boston, maybe a quarter of an inch of rainfall. Uh, the Cape, especially the outer Cape, may pick up an inch or two. Of course, they're going to be dealing with the perhaps tr tropical storm force winds and uh, some coastal beach erosion, the high surf, of course, and rip currents as well. Heading to the Big E today, tomorrow, or Sunday, all Three days, it'll be generally dry hair. 70 today, 72 tomorrow with more sunshine in the afternoon, and then middle and upper 70s on Sunday. Sunday late in the day into Sunday night and Monday morning, that's when we could actually see some showers moving in here with a front at that point. But for today, cool, breezy, thin clouds, overcast late, about 70 degrees down at the Big E. And then we're looking pretty good. There's going to be a little bump in the road here on Monday, especially in the morning with some showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm. It's a cool front. We get a little muggy Monday morning, and then we dry it right out for the rest of next week. Time right now is 618. More weather in a few minutes. Amanda and David, back to you. Dan, thank you.